Hey, Malcolm Reed here, How to Barbecue Right. I wanted to take a little time and give y'all a little behind the scenes tour of my outdoor cooking area that I created here at my home to do my YouTube videos for How to Barbecue Right. I'm gonna show you the grills I got. First, I wanna talk a little bit about the counters I had built. My buddy Jamie Williams from Swine Life is a heck of a carpenter. He built both of these wood bases just out of regular wood from the lumber mill, and then I had a buddy put the granite tops on them to give me this cool outdoor cooking area, which is the perfect height for me to demo, to do my recipes. We still hang out here. I've got some bar stools I put around the front. We can hang out, watch TV. This is the other side of the counter. You really never see this one on how to barbecue, right? Because we always shoot from the other side just because the light's good. But as you can see, I got a pretty wide cooking area. It's about 15 foot wide by 15 foot. So it's almost a perfect square. We're gonna start with the cookers that I have in my arsenal right now. And these are the ones that I use on a regular rotation. First one I'm gonna show you is my Memphis wood fire pellet grill. It's the Cadillac of pellet grills. I love cooking on it and it does a really good job. I've got the trusty Weber. Now this grill I've probably had out here longer than any of them. I think it's going on 15 or 16 years and I've won a lot of state contests with it, but I also use it in my videos. Gotta have that good Royal Oak charcoal to fire it up. Back there behind the Weber is a Cajun fryer because it can't be all barbecue all the time. The next pellet grill is the one I probably use the most out of all of them, honestly. It's a Traeger Timberline 850. And I've tried every way I can to tear this grill up. And you can see it still looks really good. I've had it probably going on four years now. Now this one right here is the latest addition. And I did have a CTO here before, but if you'll notice, this one right here is brand new. It's time to swap out, time to upgrade. So I haven't even cooked on it. I've only had it here a few weeks. Time for me to get it seasoned and get it all put together. And I plan to do some videos. The next grill is a true charcoal grill, the PK360. And I love the PK. It's aluminum cast. It holds heat well. You can low and slow cook on it. Also, it's my steak cooking machine. I use the uh, regular PK Classic when I do steak cook-offs. But here at the house, me and Rochelle are always firing up the PK360 for wanting to cook a steak. Next, we've got my ugly drum smoker. And this one's a gateway, so it's not really ugly. It's actually pretty slick. It's a little beat up. I've had it for several years. It's been with me here at the new house for I guess four years now. Since I keep it under the cover, it really stays out of the weather. But the gateway is a heck of a drum cooker. And anytime I want that real authentic barbecue, that pit flavor, I go to my drum. When you're cooking low and slow, man, you can't beat that flavor a drum gives it. The next, you gotta have a ceramic grill. I've been cooking on a big green egg for a long time. And this is the one I've had for probably over 10 years now. The last grill that I have out here, and you can see over here, it's out in the sunshine because I've been cooking on it recently, is my Yoder. And I've had this 640 for several years. I actually started out with the 480 models, and if you've been watching How to Barbecue Right videos for a while, you've probably seen the, the red 480s. Well, the 640 is just a little bit larger. I do have the upper shelf in it, so it really gives me some nice cooking great space. I can get a lot of butts in there, a lot of ribs in there couple whole briskets, no problem. And Yoder just builds these things like tanks, man. There's no pellet grill out there that has the steel on it like a Yoder does. Of course, that's not all the pits I have. I've got some that I use for competition cooking, some for catering. You know, I've got a whole hog grill or two. I can't forget Miss Jolene out in the garage, but I really wanted y'all to see my outdoor setup, the grills that I use for making the videos for how to barbecue right. I appreciate y'all checking out the channel and for watching those videos. We'll see y'all next time.